Scorched earth, eh, William? Scorched earth. Spoiler alert for The Boys season three finale in three, two, one. Last chance, because if you're still here, we're getting answers from showrunner Eric Kripke about the finale's big death and the even bigger fake out death. Let's talk about the fake out first. Hey, hole. The episode set up the exit of Queen Maeve, who got her eye poked out by that Homelander, we hate him, but at least she stabbed him in the ear with a pencil. When Soldier Boy was about to blast everyone to death, Maeve jumped out the Vought Tower window with him, sacrificing her chance to finally kill Homelander and sacrificing herself in the process? News footage praised brave Maeve, who was now resting in peace. But wait, it was a fake out. Annie later visited a very alive Maeve who was sporting an eye patch and no powers thanks to Soldier Boy. You look like off Smurfette. Maeve revealed that she and her girlfriend Elena were going somewhere Homelander won't find her. Truth is, you don't need me anymore. I could jump. You can fly. So Maeve actually dies in the comic books, and this season seemed to be hinting at a similar tragic fate. But Kripke tells TV Line, quote, at no point did I ever consider killing Maeve from the very, very beginning of the series. Believe it or not, The Boys is a moral universe, and when you make the right choices, you get rewarded. And she deserved a happy ending with Elena. But the showrunner was also very aware of the implications of a bisexual character's death. Quote, I am not going to fall into the trope of killing off gay characters. I am aware of it, and I agree with the criticism of it. And even though the X soup is going away for now, Kripke promises, quote, the series will definitely not end without seeing Maeve again. But guess who we aren't going to see in the future? Black Noir. Or at least this version of him after he admitted to knowing that Soldier Boy was Homelander's father. Okay, but is anyone surprised that he turned on his bestie? There is a clear pattern here and it is do not trust Homelander. At least Noir's cartoon animal friends were there to console him. Soon you'll be in the sweet embrace of Christ the Lord. Kripke says the decision to kill the fan favorite was scary, but quote, it starts to feel fake if you have that level of betrayal with how unhinged Homelander is and he just pats him on the back or something like that. It was just so obvious that that's what he would do. But there is some hope, Black Noir fans. Kripke tells us, quote, a completely silent masked hero is super easy to recast, and there's a reason they haven't told the public that Noir is dead. So this is not the last we've seen of Noir. This is just the last we've seen of that version. Head to tvline.com for Vlada Gelman's full interview with the boys showrunner, and let us know your take on the season three finale in the comments. For tvline.com, I'm Keisha Hatchett.